The city of Ekuruleni has only 13 days of cash left in its coffers. That translates into a mere 378 million rand available to provide services. And as the metro's coffers run dry, the MMC for Finance has painted a rosy picture and says a turnaround strategy is in place to improve its reserves. ENCA's Pulilit Chwiti Jones has more. The city of Akurleni is running out of money, and according to the multi party coalition, the metro is in dire financial strait. But the finance MMC has been trying to paint a picture of stability in the face of service delivery failures. And that's what frustrated communities here have been pointing out. Does our programs get affected by finances? Obviously, when there are no finances, uh, there would be uh, um, lesser intensity when it comes to programs. But there are no fundamental programs that we have really uh, uh, proposed and, and wanted to do that we cannot affect with the current situation that we find ourselves in. We're, we're not in a dire financial constraint uh, mm -hmm. situation where we're going to see the collapse of the city by tomorrow and so forth. Residents say the city officials should get out into communities and will see for themselves that the delivery of services is non-existent. What we're finding is that it's creating a very, very uh, um, a tense environment within the residents in the, in the town. People are calling for things like race boycotts and stuff. We have three head people that actually run and are continuously the ones that are following up on why the drains are blocked, why the robots are not functioning. We're waiting for a tender on street lots. This has been going on for three months that we don't have street lots within the area. The city's first quarter financial report is expected to be tabled in council next week. And officials insist it will show that it's not finances that are hampering the metro's ability to deliver services. Bule Lichwiti-Jones.